Uh, come on. Help me out of this mess, Rodney, please. Come on, any ideas, anything? All right, hey, yeah, all right, all right, all right. We'll just have a look at the problems, right? Yeah. Look, on the one hand, right, you don't want to fly. No. Oh, no. No, no, that's all right. So, on the other hand, you want to keep your pride intact. Of course I do, yeah? yeah I'll be straight. Right, well, it's... Right, right, I've got it. Right, you pretend to be dead keen to get up in them old clouds, right? Yeah. Right, and you put on all the gear and put yourself in the, you know, glider thing, right? Then at the last minute, I come over from the van, rushing up, right, and say, we've had an urgent call come through on our car phone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's brilliant, isn't it, eh? We ain't got a car phone, have we, don't we? We ain't even got a ruddy car, look. Who's going to know any different, eh? And then I say you've got to rush back to London immediately, yeah. right? And you act all disappointed. You go, oh, yeah. no, but what can you, you do, do yeah. right? <laughs> you and then we're in the van and we're away. Yeah, yeah good boy. Good boy. Well done, Rodders. Well done. <laughs> hey, listen, now, wait a minute. You're not going to stay here, though, aren't you? Huh? No, I'll be right here, yeah. mate. Good yeah. boy, good boy. <clears throat> Hang on. Hey, uh, Andy! Come on, then, hurry up. I'm getting a bit impatient to be off, aren't I? <laughs> he don't know, does he? <laughs> <laughs> Darling, beautiful, yeah. Now, uh, you remember everything I told you about controlling the glider? Thing? Yeah, don't worry, Andy. It's all up there, down there for dancing. <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> 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 uh, what do you reckon? All the uh, thermals and all that all right up there, Andy? Oh, no, no. It's uh, one of the best days of the year. Yeah, that's exactly what well, I thought. <laughs> whenever you're ready, Dal. Ah, oh, right, Kushti, Kushti. <laughs> <laughs> You switched on? Yeah, it's all working, yeah. <laughs> uh, is, that a, is that our phone I can hear ringing, Rodney? Hey? <laughs> I said, is, is that our phone I can hear ringing? No. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> we ain't got a car phone. <laughs> get up as high as you can, Del, eh? <laughs> you might get a tan. I'll get you for this one. <laughs> Just see if I don't. <laughs> How you going, Dal? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going. Oh, my God, oh, bloody hell. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Let me get down from here. It's like, ha, ha, ha. What's he doing? Well, where's he going? I told him to stay close to the ridge. Well, what's over there? He's heading out to sea. <laughs> they tried to phone his next of kin, but they couldn't get through. So they found a pub. Me and Mike got a cab out there. We'll see you for the fair, son. No, that's all right. We've got a green line back. <laughs> yeah, but what happened? Has he broken anything? Well, they reckon the aerial's beyond repair. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I mean, I mean, Dale. How's Dale? You better ask him yourself, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> See, you got home safely then, Rodney. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are you all right, Dale? Is he winding me up or what? <laughs> oh, no, no, he's, he's just a bit concerned, that's all, Dale. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Here, are you all right? I'm fine. So what did the hospital say, sir? He said... He said I may never walk again. <coughs> Rodney... Rodney, my brother, I'd, 
and know that in your heart of hearts you're never meant to disable me and I just want you to know that I won't hold it against you. All right. <laughs> What I meant was, I'm, I'm sorry I let you lay under our home solarium all that time and made you go a bit red. I suppose, all right, this is my punishment, isn't it? Spent the rest of my life in this wheelchair. Still, could have been worse, still. <laughs> How? My gran had one with a squeaky wheel. <laughs> This is all a bit sick, isn't it? Oh. I mean, you might fool these three, but not me, bruv. Oh, what, what do you mean, Rodney? Oh, come off it, Del. Two pina coladas, then you'll put on your Eric Clapton LP, you'll be up and jiving, won't you? I don't believe this. I don't believe what he's doing to me. He's torn my world in half, and now he's having a pop at me. You're right out of order, son. Oh, boy. listen to me. Hospitals do not send home paralysed people by bus. <laughs> <laughs> You were after, Del, eh? A sympathy from Lisa or a disabled sticker for the van, eh? <laughs> you listen to me, you vicious little git. I may never walk again for the rest of... <laughs> Although I must admit, I'm getting some feeling back. You should never tell them sort of lies, Del. You uh, made us go all the way to Red Hill and there's nothing wrong with you. Well, don't blame me. It was him. I just wanted to get my own back on this plonka. Yeah, but when you fancied a smoke on a bus, you made me carry you up to the top deck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, don't blame me. Don't blame me, Trick. Just blame him. Uh, him, he's the... Rodney, I was up there three hours. Three bloody hours. Uh, I did loop the loop over Dimchurch. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, little kids were shouting at me, there goes a spaceman, a spaceman! <laughs> finally, just when I'd given up hope, I cluttered into an aerial thing and fell 50 foot to the ground. It was only by the grace of God that I landed on something soft. Yeah, I noticed the bruising round you ate. No, <laughs> it was not my head. I landed on a very unfortunate and very unsuspecting courting couple. <laughs> no kidding. No, I wish I was. <laughs> Due to your vicious mind and general wolliness, they have had to put their wedding back six months. <laughs> <laughs> and I've had to pay for a new sunroof in their Sierra. <laughs> and as regardless of what Radio Wendell's are going to do me for, for the aerial, 